Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to episode 1 of Kids That Are Toxic. So, I've been wanting to make this video for such a long time. User left your channel. It's user left my channel. Um, <laughs> take 2. So troll. Alright, anyways, so as I was saying, welcome to Kids That Are Toxic, episode 1. I'm thinking about turning this into like a long ass series, but uh, it all depends on if um, you guys really like this. So if you guys like this, be sure to hit that like button. Leave a comment telling me that you like my toes or something, that's usually what happens. But um, yeah, this might turn into a long series, I have no idea. But going straight into this, this is Kids That Are Toxic, episode 1. So... I want to say like a few hours ago, it might have been like a, maybe a day ago, I was thinking to myself, what is something that League of Legends has, that Minecraft has, that CSGO has, that the fucking kids at school have all in common? Ready for it? It's the salty ass kids in all of these games, alright? I mean, every time I pick up a game nowadays, it feels like I'm honestly like diving into McDonald's or I'm literally drowning myself in the Pacific Ocean. There's just so many salty ass kids, and man, I really want to make a video about it, so... A lot like my kids at DDoS series, I'm only going to be talking about one kid today. I, I can't do all of them. I'm not the history channel. I don't have that budget, man. And they're, they're like Pokemon. Some of them are really subtle. Some of them are crazy. There's the grass type. There's the fire type. There's the psychopath type. I mean, there's too many salty kids for me to make a whole documentary on them. So this video, I'm going to be narrowing it down just like my kids at DDoS. And I'm going to be only talking about one certain type of kid. So the kid that I'm going to be talking about today is the kid that straight up had a bad day at school. I call him the bad day at school kid. So the bad day at school kid is exactly how it sounds. This kid, you know, he had a rough day at school and he's gonna come home and he's gonna let the gaming community know that he had a rough day at school. You're going mid, fucking think again. Because if you take mid, unlike the other people that just say it just to try to get mid, he will take it to make a fucking statement because he is mad on the inside. Now what actually goes down at school? I have no idea. Did he fail his pop quiz? Maybe. Did he get hit by a bus? Probably. Did he get fucking ran over by a motorcycle on his toes? Dude, I don't know. Matt, the fact of the matter is this kid is mad as shit, and he reflects it hardcore. And the main distinguish distinguishing trait with this kid, vice versa to other kids that are toxic, is this kid is mad off the start, you know? Some other toxic kids, a lot of times you'll have to die a few times. You'll have to, you know, maybe say something that will piss him off. This guy is mad off the fucking start, and you'll see him in League of Legends all the time. Because, again, just as I said, unlike the people that say... I'm gonna go mid or I'm gonna fucking feed. They will actually go mid if you take their mid and they will actually fucking feed. In CSGO, they'll shoot you in the head if you go be with them. I get these people all the time in the games. I mean, they're always in like the... And more or the less the lower ones because, I mean, you can't have like sh shit like that and just climb. It just It's not possible. I mean, you gotta be Goku because that's like really hard to climb with. But, um, yeah, you see these kids all the time in League of Legends and CSGO now. Alright, so just in case you didn't fully comprehend what the bad day at school kid is, I comprised all of these thoughts into a quick little skit I did with my friend. It's very educational. So this is what usually happens when you encounter the bad day at school kid. Understand the setting is CSGO. And uh, once I get into character, we will take the scene. Hooey, hooey, hooey. I think I'm ready and scene. Alright guys, I'm going B. Please don't want to follow. I'm B. I said I was going to be. Why are you going to be with me? I'm going to be. Why are you so mad? I said I was going to be. What's up, me? Bravo, bravo. I know that my performance was very uh, insane. It was very, uh, very killer. And, um, yeah, I'm going to be showing you guys a quick little chart I made about the bad day of the school kid. Because, you know what? It does vary. They're, they're, they're not all the same. There's, you know, no bad day at school kid is the same. So, um, this chart goes from a 1 to a 10, 10 being the most toxic and 1 being the less toxic. And I'm going to name the events that happen to actually get you to these, you know, certain numbers. So, 1 is you stubbed your toe on the way up the stairs. You know, this kid is walking up the stairs. He stubs his big toe. It's a bad day. You know, he gets on the computer. He's pissed off. <clears throat> Number three, we're looking at this kid, you know, someone put like gum in his hair or something like he's pretty pissed off. He's pretty angry about this. He's going to flame you hard. Five, we're talking about this kid's, this kid's getting grounded. His parents, you know, slapped him. Maybe he was yelling at his mom. His mom slapped him across the face. And this kid is very, very missed. He's very pissed off. Okay. Seven, this kid got hit by a fucking semi truck. This kid got ran the fuck over, got pushed onto tilt. 
literally. And this kid is very mad. He he did not like the fact that he got completely slammed by the semi truck, um, literally. And uh, nine, we're talking. This kid is like on the verge of killing someone. This kid, I don't know what happened. You know, maybe someone threw a milk carton at his head. <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing at this, but we don't know what happened. Someone, you know, maybe someone threw a melt card in his head, maybe stole his lunch money. This kid is pissed off. Ten, we're talking about a Goku incarnation. This guy is literally Goku on the inside. He has his rage. It needs to be let up. He is literally engulfed in fire. And I'm talking, I'm not like saying literally because I say literally a lot. Somebody literally lit this fucking person on fire with gasoline. Sitting there doing his pop quiz. Teacher walks over, pours gasoline on his hair, like his ass on fire this kid is toxic and he is engulfed in flames <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing at this fuck so right now i want to take some time and answer everyone's question right now which is leafy how big is your left toe no i'm kidding but it's leafy how do you deal with these toxic players and i'm gonna i'm not gonna lie to you man i don't know the answer to that question but I do know how not to deal with them, and ironically, what I'm telling you not to do is what every YouTube and vlogger is telling you to do to deal with these toxic players, which is don't sit there and give them a positive attitude. Like, I was watching this one video, and the guy's like, how you deal with toxic players, and you just gotta motivate them. You gotta give them some positive attitude, and I'm like, are you fucking serious? I can't see in any world. Like, in what world? Is someone joined your lobby and is like, Mitter Feed, fuck you all. And you're like, you know what, dude? You can tone it down to a one man. We're all friends here. We're all playing a video game. This is just a video game. This isn't real life. We can calm down. We can still win this. And he's like, you know what? I didn't see it from your perspective, but now I can. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop being toxic. Not this game, but forever. And we're going to win this game. I'm going to try my best. And even if we lose... Then at least, you know, at least we learned something. You know, this is all a game. Like, in what world will that actually work? I can't see it at all. A lot of times when you try to be like, you know, have a positive attitude or help the toxic player, what I've seen is it makes you even more toxic because you're like, you know, why you got to be so toxic, man? And he's like, fuck you. And you're like, well, fuck you too. And it just ends up being like a really, you end up becoming toxic. It's like a zombie infection, really, you know? You have the choice of sitting there trying to like say like, ah, oh, no, zombies, we don't have to kill each other. And then you end up getting bit, and now you're a zombie, and ironically, you you, you know you don't help it. And then maybe next game, you're even more toxic, and then next thing you know, you got some fucking YouTube cunt making a video about you, about how he hates people like you. I mean, it's literally, it's literally turning into cancer, so, I mean, goddamn, I feel like we just struck hella deep with this. Toxicity is pretty much cancer. Goddamn. Alright guys, so after studying this video for multiple hours, I mean, what I've concluded is fairly simple. Um, it's that gaming is cancer. Now, but jokes aside, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Um, if you did enjoy this quick little commentary, definitely hit that like button. Um, it really helps me out. It really shows me that you guys like these. Uh, I'm not going to lie. It does take quite a long time making these commentary videos. Vice versa to just Let's Plays. So um, if this video does get an ass load of likes, I'll definitely make a Kids That Are Toxic number two. But uh, yeah, guys, thanks for watching and have a wonderful day. Be sure not to do drugs too. That shit's really dangerous.